99% of iPhone battery issues are caused by the software, not the hardware. These settings will help improve your iPhone's battery life. We promise. Open settings app, first one, tap on battery. Seems like a pretty good place to start. Tap on battery health, then just make sure this switch next to optimized battery charging is on. And after you do that, Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Just a thumbs up. Yeah, quick thumbs up, quick tip, ask. quick win here. Yep, Reduces win. battery aging. There you Easy. go. The next thing we want to talk about is rather controversial as far as, you know, Apple spaces go. Closing out of apps. Right, you should never have to close out of your apps. iPhones work perfectly. We live in iPhone utopia, but we don't. We don't. In fact, apps crash. Apps have problems. They start running in the background. They don't stop running. It drains your battery life. You don't want that. You don't want that. So, close them out. good idea to close out of your apps. If you have an iPhone with a home button, double press that home button. If you're like me, iPhone, no home button. Swipe up to the center of the screen and just swipe your app up and up to the top of the screen. Yep. No draft kings. Draft see kings. you later. Draft kings. See you later. Let's go back to the main page of the settings app and tap on privacy. We're going to do a whole bunch in here. So get comfortable. Put on your seat belts. So first thing we're going to scroll down, tap analytics and improvements. Just turn off that switch at the top of the screen. Right, let Apple improve their own gosh darn products. You don't need to do it because yep. they're not paying you. Yep, those analytics that get sent to Apple, burn batteries, a little bit of cellular data. Exactly. Too. Tap back, upper left hand corner of the screen, scroll to the top of the screen and tap on location services. Look through this list of apps. The primary word you're looking for is always. Always means that that app can use your location all the time, even when you're not using it, which uses the GPS on your phone, which uses a lot of battery life. So, yep. Q always. We don't want that. SefQ is a bank in upstate New York. Does my bank need my location all, all the, time? the time? No, it doesn't. I don't think so. I don't think it really ever needs my location, but pretty much anything other than always would be pretty safe in terms of battery life. It's just that those always can get right. really out of control, especially always plus precise location. That now means, just... do you want your battery to last more than 10 seconds? Yeah. Turn that off. So precise location, make sure that's off. We'll do yep. uh, never because that'll be It's your, it. yeah. I know where the bank is. Yeah, Thank you bank very is. much. I know where the ATMs are. It's fine. Yep. We got it. Yep. We'll step back again, scroll down and tap on system services. We've got a lot of things on here. We need to turn most, most of, them of them off. off. What do we like to keep on David? Emergency SOS, right? Find my iPhone Yep. and networking and wireless. So let's just go let's ahead. While I turn these switches off, you will say something. Look at them go. Rounding out the so, bottom. Setting time oh, zone. Is supposed to be about the battery? Yeah, I was hoping it could be about like the stuff we're talking about. Mm, that's a lot to ask. Yeah. Yep. So setting time zone, for instance. Unless you travel across time zones frequently, you don't need to turn this on. I recently traveled to Greece. I didn't have this on. I got landed in Greece, turned it on. Time zone changed, turned it off. Great. Yep. But when all these switches are on, these things are using location all the time and draining your iPhone's battery, and you don't need it. You, you just don't need it. I don't need it. Share my oh, location, share your framework, system customization, Wi-Fi calling. So we recommend turning the switch off. We've had some. Turn it off. We've had some comments saying this, you know, breaks. It's my gonna wifi break calling. Wi-Fi calling. No, it's not. I'm gonna interrupt David a thousand times more. If it does, video. if it does break Wi-Fi calling, come back. Yeah, no, no it's, it, it doesn't. It's the reason it exists is that if you go to a different country, sometimes different countries have Wi-Fi calling set up differently. It has nothing to do with Wi-Fi calling in the U.S. If you live in the U.S., if you live in your country where you live and you're not going to a different country, you don't need to have this on. Here under product improvement, Apple can improve their own Their own gosh darn product. And improve maps is just in there as a joke. Lost Obviously gosh, leave yeah. it off because, you know, Never, what no are you going to do? Next, tap on significant locations, face ID. Turn off this switch at the top of the screen. If this has been on for a while, you'll see a whole bunch of places that you've been recently. It's, it's a little weird. Creepy. It's weird and it also drains battery using your location. Yeah, it just does not need to be collecting this data. It's kind of dumb. We've got one more privacy setting to talk about, and there's more tips, so don't leave after that tip. Back to system services, back to the main page of privacy. Tap on research sensor and usage data. This is kind of like iPhone analytics, but for a different part of the settings app. Yeah, yeah. So turn this off. Can we get to a fun one, David? I love fun tips. Let's go back to the main page of settings. Let's get out of this boring old privacy section. Go down to mail. Mail. Very exciting compared, yep. to, compared to privacy. Yeah. All right. And let's tap on accounts and then tap on fetch new data and turn off push at the top. With push mail on, your iPhone maintains a connection to the email server and it's always asking. 
Is there male? Is there male constantly? Is there male? Is there male? Is there male? Yeah, right, exactly. Why would you do that when you could just have mail fetch every 15, 30 minutes or hour or manually? Anytime you open up the mail app, it'll fetch your for new mail for you. For the love of God. And, I mean, look, we've been saying this for years. Yep. But Apple recently, as this little footnote, oh. for better battery life, interesting. fetch less frequently. Who was saying that in 2015? Not Apple. We were saying that. I was saying that at the Apple Store yeah. in 2011. Whoa. Whoa. As an Apple tech. A decade of good battery advice. Apple is finally catching up. That's why you got to watch these videos, subscribe to this channel, join they, this I channel. can't believe they let me get away. It really... You could have revolutionized it, the... Uh, I, I had ideas there. Had ideas. And they were like, Dave, go fix the phones. Yeah, we're, we don't we're not paying you to think. Yeah, we're not paying you to think. That's why we're a trillion dollar company. Right, right. Yeah, look what happened after I left. This stunning architecture sprawls across 176 acres of land. Okay. Another classic yeah. tip is up next, background app refresh. This allows apps to download new content in the background of your iPhone, even when you're not using them. So to get there, back to the main page of settings, scroll up and tap general, then tap background app refresh. And then subscribe to our channel and then tap background out. I'm trying to sneak it in there yeah, under the radar. Little. Did that work? No, probably. But please subscribe to our channel, please. But it helps us a lot. We're trying to, you can be one of the first million subscribers of yeah. Pay It Forward. Exclusive club there. It is. <laughs> Scroll down this list of apps and see, do you want these to download new content in the background of your iPhone? Clubhouse, definitely. I haven't used Clubhouse in forever. It was just. Right, it got to be a little much yeah. after a while. It has seen a lot of these, a lot of apps, you don't need them to download new content. They let in the riffraff on Clubhouse. Exactly. It used to be exclusive. One thing I will say is that for messaging apps especially, you'll probably want to leave background app refresh on because you want those new messages to come in even when the app's not open. Right. No brainer there. Next up, another classic battery tip. We're playing all the greatest hits today. It's reduce motion. Let's tap back upper left hand corner of the screen, back to the main page of settings, tap on accessibility, then tap motion. Reduce motion. You turn that switch on or off? I would turn it on. Reduce the motion of the user interface, including the parallax effect of icons. Now you're sacrificing the parallax effect here. What did you say? But it's gonna save your battery life because it's gonna use less GPU power, graphics processing unit, which uses a lot of battery life. Yeah, and you'll get used to the lack of animations or parallax, whatever, yeah. pretty quickly. These are all little battery savers. Some of them are bigger, like the location services yep. stuff and the push mail. This is a little one, but they all add up. Little ones add up to big tips. Right. Let's head back to accessibility. One more accessibility setting we want to talk about is reduce white point. So if you tap on display and text size and scroll- You're getting ahead of yourself here, Dave. You're tapping, you're pre-tapping. It's one above. They're, they're, yeah. Go ahead, leave a comment, slow down, you're yeah, going too slow fast. Slow down, you're an idiot. Yeah, geez, yeah. if these guys would just shut up and slow down. Why is the blonde guy so hot? I don't know. Okay, anyway. Just you kidding. tap on display and text size. <laughs> Reduce white point. Turn that switch on. This allows you to make your iPhone actually dimmer yep. than the lowest setting on the brightness letter. Right. So I like 50%. And then you can still go up into brightness in the upper right-hand corner and bump it up, but it's still gonna be bright enough. The reason we have it lower right now is that we're recording a video. It's not gonna look lower to you, but it needs to be sort of the same brightness as the table-ish. Yep. That's a little behind the scenes tip yep. for you for when you subscribe and join. Speaking of brightness and darkness, turn on dark mode, it's a good battery tip. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense, right? It's kind yeah. of a no-brainer. Let's go back to the main page of settings. Tap display and brightness, just tap on dark. Ooh. I think it looks better too. I think it does too. It took them forever to actually put dark mode on iPhones and you know, it's, it's, uh, it didn't disappoint though. Did and not. then turn off that switch next to automatic so that it just remains dark. But we're leaving on light for the rest of this video. Back to those inside tips about video recording. Video recording, yeah. I'm, I'm too lazy to turn it off. It's why all mine are dark mode. Updating your iPhone is another good tip. Can resolve a variety of software problems, you know. Right, your battery dying fast? Check for an iOS update. Yeah, let's go back to the main page of settings. Tap general, tap software update. Wow. iOS 15, we're up to date, we're running the beta. Yeah, this is exciting. Yep. Next. Restart your iPhone once a week. I feel like a lot of people don't do this where they just don't turn off their iPhone like weeks Ever. and weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks. Whee! And it never turns off and some of these software crashes can build up in the background of your iPhone and just a simple restart will fix it. Yeah, it's essentially a way to start from scratch. What David said eliminates problems. Yep. Yeah, so. Thanks for watching this video. If you haven't already, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, 
yeah. and join Enjoy this channel. channel. We would really appreciate this if you did all of those our high things. tech way to remember to ask you to do this. And if we put this much effort into asking you, don't you think you could put a little effort into subscribing? Do you have any battery tips for us? Leave them in the comments section below. And once again, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.